This is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Now you just turn the heater and put the windows up. I know, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, she's beautiful. I'll <laughs> see you there. Haley Chevrolet starting the day off. Merry Christmas. I love it. All right, we got the 2023 Corvette 70th anniversary edition loaded up, tied down top is down this car is absolutely beautiful beautiful shocked that it doesn't have the mag ride suspension that was definitely something that i was uh interested to see function but it is still a gorgeous car sounds amazing and uh looking forward to seeing the look on my customer's face tonight when it gets delivered All right, it was a great first trip. Got 12.8 miles per gallon, going 68 miles per hour. And here we are, delivered this gorgeous 70th anniversary Corvette. And yes, yeah, she is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You gotta love this car. And now, we're on to go get the next one. Looking like all the snow machines are dropping sand and grit. You can hear it hitting the windshield. Salting, reduced speed, salting the process. Yeah, big chunks of salt. Yeah, rock salt, look at that. This is the Loves truck stop, shower, and bathroom. If you've never been in one and you don't have a Loves card and buy fuel here, it's $18 to use this bathroom and shower while on the road. It's not a bad deal, especially when the truck stops are being used by all those transporting illegal aliens who've made it across the border to different places in the United States because they use all the bathrooms and take up all the shitters, leaving you to get one of these. All right, gotta get a picture of the two of you with the car. All right, smile, give me a thumbs up, anything you want to do. There we go. Awesome. All right, I picked this hotel because, one, it's a great hotel with good parking. It's right next to the Home Depot where I need to go. Pick up some boards. There's the truck. I love this trailer. And when you're staying in a hotel, you never know what you're going to see. I mean, there's always little surprises. Just wait for it. Feel like you're in a twilight zone. And then <laughs> she didn't wait for it. <laughs> All right, you're gonna see a little bit later why I'm doing this. I got two treated two by fours. I'm gonna cut them at 47 inches and mount them in the floor of the trailer. Check out why.
Now, this is why I got the wood cut at 47 inches. These two boards will now work as chocks for the front of the motorcycles. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> when you step out of your hotel door and you know the day is just going to be interesting. Yep. I think the roads are going to be fun. All right, let's get over here and let this thing get warmed up. Okay, I'm walking across this. This is almost all ice. It's crazy. Trailer's a mess. Truck's covered in ice. <laughs> let's get her warmed up. It's gonna take a while. Don't think we're going to the North Georgia mountains today. I think we're gonna wait a day or two for the storm to pass. The entire <laughs> bedside is a sheet of ice. If you didn't know this about a Ram truck and a diesel, you can hit the cruise control button on. I'll just do this because I already started this process. You turn the cruise control on and then hit the minus button and it kicks the idle up. And then you can hit the cruise control plus button and speed it up so you get a faster idle or bring it back down. We'll bring it back down for a second and let it warm up a little bit. And then that's how you do it. So we're gonna sit here for a few minutes and let her warm up. Because there's no way we're driving in this mess. Well, we're in North Georgia, Blairsville, Georgia. And we're across from this beautiful church. And we're just gonna let all the friendly spirits join us in sharing this gorgeous Mercedes with its new owner. And I actually spoke to somebody from RC Trailers today in Indiana one of the representatives and uh, really, really nice gentleman. And he's gonna get me the pieces I need for this trailer to make her all brand new. There's a couple of pieces on the inside that I need to fix. Look how gorgeous day this is. After everything I've been driving through, God, you gotta love North Georgia. All right, we're here with Alec Allison and this is his beautiful tow rig. If you're up here in the North Georgia mountains, save that number this is his beautiful 300 se his car is immaculate absolutely gorgeous look at this thing inside and out like brand new still smells like new leather interior it is beautiful listen to that door click gorgeous 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 car like i said allison towing just a lovely, lovely Mercedes. <laughs> All right, tell me about this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on my video. Uh, yeah, so uh, Suzuki Jiminy in the United States, it was a uh, Suzuki Samurai. In Japan, you could get them anywhere with this engine, which is 660cc three-cylinder turbocharged, up to, I think, a two-liter turbo diesel. Um, uh, front and rear LSDs, locking hubs, high, low range, heat AC. Uh, one with a lift kit and tires like this, we usually get around 14.5. Uh, a little bit of wiggle room there, but you know, you, you got to start asking. You high, can't, so. yeah, you, you you can't get that anywhere in the United oh, States. Yeah. I mean, that's cheaper than a side by side, and yeah. you can drive it on the street. Yeah, correct. Uh, st it still gets really good gas mileage. Uh, we take everything out here and go off roading. The other night we had this thing on a pretty bad road. We had it about that deep in mud. <laughs> the only thing that got stuck was the K truck. <laughs> And, and look at these things. These yeah, are amazing. The K truck out with a ratchet strap. So. Privia. Woo woo. Yeah, that's my mailman. That one's leaving next week. <laughs> that one's uh, that's actually an Estima. It's uh, all-wheel drive. 
These come with these wheels? Yeah, so uh, unlike a lot of importers, that's where we're different. We actually have a sister lot in Japan. I have a cousin that owns the lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything that we buy goes from the auctions, goes and gets inspected via either the manufacturer or a local mechanic we have. And we put all wheel and tire packages on them. We service them down to timing belts before they ever leave Japan. Wow. Yeah. Wait a second, what is this over here? So that's a Honda Activan, uh, four wheel drive, you can haul four people about my size, oh, about your size in it. My size, you can get five people in it. <laughs> right. Uh, depending on the amount of alcohol, you can pack in about 10 people. 10 people, yeah. That's, this would be perfect in the Florida Keys. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, this would they're be- fully federally street legal. So they're 25 year compliant. They'll hold, maintain 55, 60 miles an hour. <laughs> uh, I drove this one out to Vidalia about three weeks ago, <laughs> which is two and a half hours from here. This is dope. Yeah. <laughs> Little hunting rigs. So Nice. Uh, yeah, little trucks are ready to haul 2,000 pounds. The Japanese government claims way lower, but they underrate everything like we do here. That's crazy. Um, and then I've got a full-size truck that's diesel. <laughs> uh, that crew cab, that's diesel, four-wheel drive, hauls Ooh. six people. Pretty cool little truck. And then we got the Nissan Skylines and stuff up front. Yeah. I saw the dump bed first. What is this? Yeah, so like I told you, this is scissor lift. Uh, you've got two options with this one. Uh, this one just has a standard bed, so it's still a trifold. Can you imagine going hunting with that? Yeah, most guys mount a winch right here. And whenever they get their gear, they winch him up right here and clean him right here and then throw him in the back. That's genius! Yeah. The really cool thing about this one is you have two modes. Uh, I think he has the key. So if you go down, it goes nine feet in the air. What most of our guys do, like I was telling you, is they put a push button start in here and leave the key in. Because these things are so quiet, you can barely hear them running. They'll put in their deer blind or stand another five feet in there. They let the outriggers out. And they'll have that electric start. And then through this panel here, they go to Summit Racing and get one of the remote heater cores. Yeah. They put it there and they leave it running. They've got heat throughout the winter. <laughs> but uh, the, the trick of this one is this little lever right here. You flip that. Yeah. And now you have dump function. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh my God. So, and how much are these? These get a little bit pricey because they're in such demand. Right? Uh, I can see we, that, but it's still normally, cheaper than a Ford Bronco. Oh yeah, we, we normally average about 12.5 for one of these. <sighs> this is the ultimate hunting rig. Yeah. Look and, at and that. Will tire packages, full service before it ever leaves Japan. This one actually went to Mitsubishi to be serviced before it left. <laughs> what is this thing? This is a Suzuki Cappuccino. If this would have came to the U.S., no one would have bought a Miata or an S2000. No kidding. Charge three cylinder, five speed. They get like a cappuccino. Yeah, they get like sixty miles to the gallon, <laughs> seventy miles to the gallon. They're great. <laughs> Um, this car was a one owner car in Japan that was traded in in our sister lot and it just was 25 years old so it could come into the United States. Uh, we get 16.5 for something like this. Um, and it has a hard top or it's a Targa. So, so it's a trick. You have a hard top, it will do Targa. The centerpiece comes out so you can have T tops also. So these two pieces come out so you can have T top, take this piece out also to Targa. The back glass collapses down so you can let your rear glass down and this piece folds down. Believe it or not, all three of these pieces actually fold up and go in the trunk. They fit in the trunk. Oh my God, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Now we all know what this is. Yeah, so this is a GTT trim. This is Midnight Purple 3. This is actually LXO Midnight Purple from Nissan. Uh, this car is a full GTR nose conversion, so OEM GTR bumper, OEM GTR fenders. So it is a GT. And my brother's it's a GTT. The... So you got GTR up here and GTT underneath you... that. Right. But yeah, Eurus hood, Eurus lip. Uh, Eurus rear spats, Eurus rear wide body, work wheels, bride seats, five speed. Uh, it's turned up to around 20 pounds. Uh, <laughs> full three inch titanium exhaust all the way back. Yeah. And it's a four door. A so this car changes from blue to purple to gold. Yeah. It's a very pretty color. It's dirty right now, which we've had so much rain lately. All right. The Supra's in. Here we go. Sold. Da, da, da. Let's front end. Fall side, rears. Can't make this up. All right, back to what is it? Mira? Yeah, Mira. Daihatsu Mira TRXX. Three cylinder? Yeah, three cylinder turbo. Uh, Check out the intercooler. Yep. Yeah. My oil cooler is bigger than that. Yeah, it's a riot to drive. It's so much fun. That's crazy. What's funny is passing people on the interstate. 
getting up into triple digits in it. Dude, that would have been a blast in the snow that I just drove through. Yeah. Meanwhile. And once again, we're at Bucky's. We just dropped 300 cash on filling the tank. Actually didn't quite fill it up. And we're gonna head to the truck wash and get all the salt and all the crap off from the truck. My tail light after I busted it, yeah, I hit my own fence. I did it myself. It's finally failed. Um, it still flashes, but only the top half, it's full of water. As you can see it, you can see it move, it's full of water. So it failed. I just checked the trailer, did a thorough walk around, and uh, now we're gonna get back on the road and head to Blue Beacon, get it washed, get the salt off of it. You can see the salt, it's just everywhere. All right, finally just poked a hole in it, and uh, now I'm draining the water out. City, Florida, just doing our post daily drive walk around. All right, just loaded up all this race deck flooring and uh, some more of Dan's stuff. Get it out of his trailer. Yeah, it's his cable lock. Stuff for his Corvette. Pretty tricked out trailer. All right, once again, we're at Harbor Freight. And if you buy four of these little jack dollies, they are usually $129 a piece, but right now if you buy them on sale and get the little storage rack with it, that's another 50 bucks. For $3.99, you get everything. And right now there's a limited deal for the Pittsburgh Pro little click wrench. Figured I would share this with you all because you know how much I shop here at Harbor Freight. And since I have a car that is gonna need these to move, it's one hell of a deal. So, what are you doing? <laughs> this, this, this is this is how you get this. This is JDM all the way, right? <laughs> yeah, you just, you just, just yeah. There's no way I'm doing it. <laughs> That's what's just gonna take. No, it's JDM, not Jesus Christ. Wait, check out that shifter. Can, can we get your rating on what it takes to get into the right-hand drive super? You know, I would give it maybe like a six out of ten. A six I'm out of ten. Still optimistic. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is it, is it a lock diff or not? Yep. Eight o one p.m. All right. Port thirty two Marine. Matt has hooked it up. Surrounded by amazing boats on both sides. The Mercedes is parked out front, gonna get it picked up. Look at his big monster right there. And uh, look at this thing, El Toro. Very, very cool. Steve's here hey. holding down the security. <laughs> yeah, That's it, he's got an eye on it. He, he's he's keeping, he, he's, a, he's the head man in charge here. All right, it's the next day, and this techno rib really catches my eyes because I think it's gonna need a little bit of work. I bet this thing's made the haul ass, even with the bent propellers, because a 33 pitch is substantial. Sweet ride. It has been more than 10 years since, actually it's been more than 15 years since I've ridden a Harley. I'm thinking 
geez, 2005 maybe? So it's been a while since I've ridden a Harley. This thing scoots. It definitely gets up. Before you know it, you're doing 75, 80 miles an hour. And uh, it's a beautiful bike. And she's a sweet ride. Back at Port 32, Fort Lauderdale. It's a beautiful day in Florida, sort of. Just got back from a nice little motorcycle ride. And we have the Mercedes S550 on all four of the Harbor Freight jacks and uh, got it hooked up to the winch, the Harbor Freight Badland winch. Love knot on the front going into the tow hook. And look, it's just this easy. You just push the button and there it goes. Now, we're gonna get the car lined up like this. I'm gonna take the front jacks off and I'm gonna steer it. And then I'm gonna slide the rear end around and line it up.